Treasury Secretary Tim Geithner is not in agreement with the Senate Banking Committee proposal to have a single bank regulator. And the top regulator for New York Bank agrees with the Treasury Secretary. And he's speaking to our own Eric Schatzker, who is at Pace University in downtown New York with New York State Bank Superintendent Richard Neiman. Eric? Margaret, thank you very much. Let's get it off right away. Mr. Neiman, you've questioned, as Margaret just said, the wisdom of concentrating regulatory authority for banks under one institution like the Fed. You say we need multiple layers of oversight, likening it to Olympic judges, for example. Now, I know some people would question the performance of our financial system as Olympic or at least worthy of it, but what is it that state regulators need to do that you don't believe the Fed or another institution of its like could do by itself? No, I, I think what the main point is in regulatory reform is we maintain a dual banking system, allow the states to be a critical partner in both supervision and consumer protection. I agree with the administration's position of combining the OTS and the OCC to eliminate regulatory arbitrage. Okay, but wouldn't some people, let's talk about regulatory arbitrage, because on the one hand, doesn't multiple jurisdictions create multiple uh, opportunities for lobbying and of course that comes at a cost to clients and shareholders and don't multiple jurisdictions in the way of states versus the Fed or states between each other create opportunities for regulatory arbitrage. No, I think in, in, in fact uh, just, just the opposite. I think the relationship that the states have had with their federal counterparts, the FDIC and the Federal Reserve uh, for both member banks and non-member banks has been an effective, has provided opportunities for checks and balances. I think a combined a monolithic agency with responsibility for all institutions will naturally uh, kowtow and, and, and favor the largest money center banks in this country. I think having that diversity, having those checks and balances, having uh, the voice of, of the state regulator, focusing on community banks, focusing on, on the f interests of foreign banks and member banks is critical. That avoids the issue of regulatory capture. I believe it does. What about those people who will question the role of state regulators and say, our federal regulators may have failed us going into this crisis. It's not like the states did any better. No, you're absolutely right. I think looking back, there's a lot of fingers to point, a lot of parties to blame. Uh, but why should we believe that the states are going to do a better job on the other side of this crisis than they did going in? Because they're already evidencing that they're doing a better job in regulating, licensing all the mortgage loan originators in this country through a uniform system recognized by Congress to standardize that implementation. Next what you need is, uh, sorry, sorry no, to interrupt. Right ahead, I think please. what we need is is a greater level of coordination. I've called it a new federalism. You need more cops on the beat, not less. We need more cooperation between the federal government and the state governments, not oh, less. Okay, how do we achieve that without imposing an enormous bureaucracy uh, on top of the bureaucracy that already exists in the bank regulatory system? No, I think simplifying the process, eliminating uh, bureaucracy is critical. But let's build on what we have that is best in the system and eliminate what's weak. Okay, everybody agrees that that makes sense, but how do you actually do it? That's why greater coordination, setting a minimum standards. I think this comes back to the issues of preemption. The, in strengthening consumer protection at the national level, we have to make those a floor give those states the ability to go beyond. States won't want to. Uh, I think it's in the interest of all of us to have u uh, uniform standards. Make those standards strong enough that states don't have to go beyond. I've got time for one more question. TARP, you're in the Congressional Oversight Panel for the TARP program. Uh, it's coming up for renewal at December 31st. Should the TARP money that's left be used for other things, checks to seniors, uh, some kind of other stimulus effort? I made a recommendation personally to uh, Secretary Geithner last week that consideration should be used to use those TARP funds to enhance the foreclosure rescue efforts to provide temporary assistance to individuals on a, a short-term emergency basis. Richard, thank you very much. That's Richard Neiman, the superintendent for banks.